High Floss Tube. High Floss Tube. This is Just Keep Stitching. Mm -hmm. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. So, <laughs> hi. <laughs> it's been a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want to welcome our uh, new viewers, our uh, subscribers, and all our commenters. Um, if you are visiting us for the first time, we are a mother and daughter. Yeah. And... And I have been stitching for many, many years. Stephanie is a new, fresh face to cross-stitching world and um, is just going gangbusters. So I'm very proud of her. And it's been fun to make these videos and uh, have kind of a stitching buddy. And uh, mm -hmm. glad you joined us. Um, we have been away. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, some of you may know, but uh, we lost my mom. Couple weeks ago, not like lost her in the woods. No, no. But she uh, had a wonderful life. She was 85, and um, so we um, went to Maine, where I'm from, mm -hmm. to plan and to um, attend her funeral and pay our respects. And so, um, those mm -hmm. of you who have let us know that you um, wished us well and were thinking of us, we thank you. You all are very, very kind. So thank you so much, so, so, so much. But as we learned through our first and second videos, that two weeks is a very long time since there's two of us, if you can't tell, which means there's two stitchy stuff to report. So this might be one of our longer videos because we have a lot to share, but I mean, I don't see any problem with more of us. So there's that. Correct. Plus, good to make up the last time with you. Um, just uh, as kind of a introduction um we are um folks that drive to maine when we go to maine and um used to be back in the day i would drive it straight through 16 and 17 hours um i'm older and wiser now and i don't do that anymore but um uh, steph and i uh left from here and stopped in uh syracuse new york uh and uh made the trip in two days mm -hmm. everything went smoothly I did the driving, she did the stitching. Yes, ma'am. So, that kind of is an intro into our current works in progress. Right. So, here's, sorry, I hit my notes. Here's a fun fact. Um, I have been so, uh, let's see, in the last eight to ten years that I have been out of college, not out of college, but whatever, um, I've been so focused on work and relationships and all that stuff that I really didn't have a hobby, per se. So, when, like, when my grandfather passed away back in 2010, I really, like, didn't deal well with that. I have come to find out that although I, in addition to loving the stitch, loving how much it's, I mean, obviously my mom and I are close. Hi. But, um, not like in distance, but like our relationship as well. If you watch our videos, you know that well. But um, if I had to sit for 14 hours and stare out the window for the entire road to Maine, I don't know what I would have done myself. Um, and the only granddaughter, so um, to lose now both my grandparents was kind of a big deal for me. Um, and to have this hobby to kind of like dive myself into while we were in Maine and while we were in the car on the way to Maine was like a blessing that I didn't even know was there. So, however, anyone that is stitched in a car knows that it is difficult. It is not an easy task to be done. Not that my mother is a bad driver. I wish she like me is. I'm just kidding. Uh, no. Um, it's just hard because the roads, I mean, it's not like you're, you know, the bumps and all that crazy, crazy stuff and the stopping and slowing down and people and whatever. So, um, I kind of just focus, um, I mean, I do have may, I may or may not have a pen sort of, you know, don't judge me, but I do. Um, however, I just kind of focused on my hippo the entire time I was gone. So, as meaningful as that project has already been to me, um, and to Cincinnati and the zoo and all that kind of stuff that I talked about in previous videos, this will now be the piece that I work, worked on and got me through um, sort of my a difficult week. Right. Yeah. A difficult, difficult week. Pretty, a difficult week. Yeah. yeah. So, um, 
Are you ready? Um, so, just for anyone who is new and has not seen this, um, this is Tribal Hippo by White Willow Stitching. Um, I... Hi now! P.S. I also have this, what, what I decided was my Sunday hair, don't care, so it's extra fluffy for you guys. <laughs> okay, um, but, so, uh, and for those of you that don't know, real quick backstory, the Cincinnati Zoo had a premature baby hippo born back in January, I think, or whatever. But um, she's like the only baby hippo to kind of like survive. So it's a big deal. We we're like obsessed with Cincinnati. While we were in Maine, we actually saw on like one of the world news, like ABC or NBC, one of those, they were doing a story about her. So we were like, that's a hippo. And so that was kind of funny. Um, so... Yes, on the stitching. Um, I'm doing this on navy blue 14 count, 14 count Ada, and I'm using uh, one thread, which is also the other bonus to stitching in the car. Is there's not color changes going on. So, are you ready, people? We might need this a little bit. Better. Oh yeah. <coughs> Look at yeah, that. Yeah. Whoops. Sorry. Why? Look, oh, yeah, they're good off fast. Look at that. So, um, I am using a DMC variegated called Northern Light. Yes, she's almost done. Um, so and I. And there is room for her butt. There is, I promise. Before y'all start asking questions, there, there is, is room enough for her room butt. for her booty. Okay. So, um, I was kind of, backwards in my mirror, but, okay, so, as I was stitching, I was kind of doing it, like, in columns, so, this is where I, this last shape right here, I was working on that when we pulled in the driveway last, last Sunday night, so, um, I told my mom, when we got inside, I said, um, and unpacked and everything, I said, I'm going to finish that last little motif, and then Hippo is going on the shelf, because, Although she's cute, and although she's almost done, I don't ever want to get to the point where I'm, like, tired of what I'm working on. So, um, I kind of am at that point, at this point. Um, so, I'm excited about it, though. I don't feel good. She's a cute little hip ball. Mm -hmm. So, I like her. So, that was my main piece. Um, and, okay. So, uh, don't worry. I'm not going to go through every single whip I have because um, I have not worked on every single one, even in the past two weeks since we've seen it. I do have some new things though. Because give or take ten o'clock at night rolls around and I'm like Oh let's start something new. So yeah, I did that. So if you follow me on Instagram or whatever then you know these and stuff. But if you don't, welcome. So um this is I actually got this bow free at our LNF and it is a bent creek called Cal, and for anyone that doesn't know, I was born and raised in Cincinnati, I'm an Ohio girl, I never ever lived on a farm, but cows have like a lightweight special place in my heart, so, um, plus, it's really cute, come on now. So, um, I did do some substitutions, um, the picture is deceiving, the red that's in this picture is like popping, and then when I pulled, he called for Weeks Thy Works Lancaster Red. It was like, so I'm like, mm, no, we're going to have to do something brighter. So I went with uh, Cupid by Classic Color Works for that. Um, and then the Whitewash, which is, uh, it's a Weeks as well. Uh, whitewash, I didn't have enough of that to cover out all of the fence and the cow and all that. So I went with uh, Antique Lace by Classic Colors as well. Look at me here, I'm not so off my head. Um, I'm getting good, people. Um, so this is my progress on this. Again, I know I'm almost done with this too, but whatever. So there he is. Well, technically it's a she, I found out. Because cows are she's and steers are boys. So this is a her. This is appropriate. And so am I. So, but look at that red though. I mean, look at that. There you go. Look at that. Oh, why can't I hold things correctly today? Okay. So pretty. So, like this. Um, and this was, uh, this is on 28 count mushroom even weed that we bought at Julian's. 
Not the fancy there, people. Okay, next. Um, this I haven't worked on in like the last this last week, but um, if you saw our on location video, this was the one that I was working on then. Um, and this, so if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry, but this is Frosted Pumpkin Citry, uh, the Sleepy Hollow sampler. Um, I chose to do it on a different fabric than this. I think that the words, the words, the letters kind of get lost a little bit on this fabric that it says on here. So I went with a uh, brighter, like lighter color. Same spookiness, different tone. So, here she is. Okay, excuse the random thread that's just like chilling. But that's how big it's going to be. I mean, that's the border right there. So, um, so, I literally counted this 14 times and it's still one off. So, there's the right counting one on one. Um, and I just wanted to get to the top and then make sure I had the border all right and then work my window from there. So, did most of the alphabet or whatever half of it and then, um, but yeah, so, I kind of was a little bit surprised that it was as small as it is, but whatever. I mean, you get done quicker. So, there's that. And, I know it's weird, and it's not even weird, is it? No, it's fun. It's weird. It's fun. It's fun. But if you can kind of tell, it's got a little bit of eerie-ness to it, and you can see my thumbnail character. So there's that. Um, and so this, I love this man. I love. This man, not this man, my boyfriend, the one that I'm making this for. However, look at that. Okay, so finally got the fabric, and I utilized um, my wonderful LMS owner bar to help me start this stocking. So look at all my progress. Oh my gosh! So there's that. The top, the whole top row, so that is how as wide as it's going to be. Um, but, or the widest the top is going to be, obviously, it's going to be stocking. But, yep. So, there's that. I started it. There's no way in H E double hockey sticks that this is going to be done by December 25th. Let's just be real about it. However, it will be pretty when it's done. So, therefore, it's kind of starting to be he has to ask about it, so that's <laughs> fine. Um, and he better not ask about it because he's really flat. Okay. Anyway, so then this is the, the last whip, I promise. Um, I'm at 13 minutes and it's been the Stephanie show, so it's fine, but whatever. It usually is, let's be honest. Um, so this lovely, lovely lady, her name is Anne Marie. I don't know if she watched our videos, I think she might, but if she doesn't, then I'm giving her free advertising for her kindness. Um, and as you'll notice, when I, it's going to be the Stephanie show today, because I will. So, but anyway, she, uh, we do every, what is it, last Thursday of the month, um, me, third Thursday. Third, excuse me, third Thursday of the month, we go to a Panera in uh, a Milford, which is kind of on the west side of town. Um, and it's just, it's not, no, it's no. on the east, because I know direction. Um, it's on the east side of town. Um, yeah, so, anyway, now I feel really down, but that's okay. I just go where the GPS tells me, so, um, anyway, she, every time we go, it's like Christmas. So I think she's going through this, like, phase of her life, where she wants to just get rid of everything she's not going to stitch, which is smart. And she's giving it to me, which is also great. So. Like, we're not talking, like, here's some patterns. It's like, here's patterns, here's the linen, here's the cloth, here's everything that you need to go. And I'm like, okay. So, Perry Schooler, All Hallows Eve, book number 180. Look at the cat. I mean, I see a cat, and I'm like, that is such a cat. So, um, plus, it's really cool. So, um, so there's that. So, in the bag that she gave me this, she also gave me the linen, which is 32 count lamb's wool. And I versus on lamb's wool. It's very like lightweight scare, lightweight sweater, whatever. Um, and all the threads, which like I say, all the threads, but it's four dollars. Um, but like most of this, if you can't tell, is one color, and it's not 310. It's 3371, which is a brown black. Um, but anyway, she gave me five skeins of it. 
So, I mean, the kindness in this world of CrossFit ladies is abundant, y'all. So, this. And so last night, about 10 o'clock, per usual, I'm like, so, I did. Look at that. That's great. So, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And I don't, I like, wouldn't make lamb's wool my linen of choice. But it's a lot easier to stick on than I was thinking it would be. And I'm really excited about this. So I think this is my first pair of square. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I guess I'm just into doing pieces that are mostly one color. Who knew? But anyway. So, yeah. I'm done now. <laughs> 20 minutes. Well, later. um, I haven't really done a whole lot of stitching. Um, we both took our stitching with us to Maine. Um, Stephanie was able to stitch while I drove. I was not. Um, I did take it, though, and, um, sorry, this is Muffin. She never comes in videos. I just wanted to say hi. Say hi, y'all. Muffin does, Muffin is not friendly. Muffin does not like to be had. No. Say bye. Bye, Muff. All right. So I did take my, uh, stitching with me, but, um, really didn't. I'm the oldest child, so, um, uh, I uh, had a lot of planning that I needed to coordinate with my siblings and so forth. So, um, I did take, because again, a few colors, I did uh, pull out my Canada sampler, if you're not familiar, Stitch Rovia, a lot of people have stitched it. It is phenomenal. I'm doing it on 18 count Ada. And, um, <clears throat> Just because it was more or less mindless, um, I just worked on the letters. So it's it's on white, white, white Ada, and it's it's going to be fabulous. But uh, you people are probably tired of seeing a goose and an ice skate. But <laughs> there you go, people. I'm uh, working backwards. It ultimately will say, guess what, Canada. Yeah, who knew? Um, so I took that, and that uh, really didn't get a whole much done. Sorry for the weird lighting, by the way. Yeah, the lighting happening. is. Like blue, that. yellow, blue, yellow. I know, it's weird. Whatever. So, we apologize in advance for that. Anyway, um, I wanted to get back to my, if it's not my oldest whip, it's pretty darn old. And it is a Dimensions Gold Kit from 1997 called Birch Point. The artist is Charles Waisaki. And I have done um, Macintosh Mill. And um, I have maybe a couple more that I want to do. Um, not necessarily the kits, but a, a few other leaflets. We have a white chalky folder. Yeah, we have a white chalky folder. So does that mean anything? Uh, but anyway, um, so this is Birch Point, And like I said, it is uh, something that I have been stitching over many, many years. And uh, well, this way. So what I'm down to, you're going to look at this and go, well, holy cow, aren't you done? Yeah. What is left are these trees, which I Over need here. to do more branches and then um, the dreaded French knots. It's not really focusing too well, mm -hmm. but uh, no, that doesn't work, so. Yeah. No. Anyway, um, so I started the French knots here. They're orange, mm -hmm. um, and uh, they're driving me crazy. But I and don't it's really so funny want. To watch. Oh my God. Well, I don't really want to substitute beads because there are other French knots already in this piece that I put in, and so I want to be consistent. So it's got to be French knots. Right. So um, once I get the trees done. Uh, it's done. So that's for point. And then I believe um, that I've made some progress on Remembrance Day, which is my other Canada piece um, since our last video. Uh, and I haven't worked on it since before the Summer Stitch Day, since the On Location video. So um, just wanted to Maybe hold that up just a bit. Sorry for the... Yeah. So this is... Whoops, yeah, I know. It's so, hard. so I got... We will not forget all in. I got the beginning of the verse in the Flanders Field verse. 
got my soldier and uh, got some of the battlefield in. Um, it's all half stitches that come down through the word remembrance and then there's some greenery at the bottom and the date which is the old armistice day date and we're on we're pretty much on the home stretch we are on the yeah so those are my three whips whips um that i've got going on yeah so um anyway you want to talk about the o word the o word <laughs> Oh no, what it's the F word. This is Finnish. Oh. But she's silly. Because I told her that we were Oh that's right. Mm -hmm. You're gonna yeah. do that one first. Okay, sorry. I remember my first Sorry day. for the tempting little the O there. word. Mm -hmm. Don't 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 oh yet. <laughs> anyway <laughs> this one. Live simply by Luke Kate changed a whole bunch of crap all on this. Um I went for the this was back in like March. I said to my mom, can I sit something? And March. March. It's long, July. long time ago. Yeah. So this was actually the first thing I ever started. And I think I've told this story before, but the cliff notes are that I started it, and I put it down, picked it back up a few weeks later, a month later, and I was like, I hate winning. And I threw it away. No, I did not throw it away, but I threw it to the side. And I was like, you can finish this, Pam. I don't even care. And then... Fast forward to two or three finishes into my prostitute career. And I was like, what was I talking about? This is easy peasy lemon peasy. So, yep, I finished that. So. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. If you just hold this up and it's behind it. Okay. Back it up. 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 There. You're going to get the pure colors. There we go. Yeah. Look how cute that is. Actually, the, um, the V is really um, much more prominent than the camera is picking up. Correct. It really isn't as hidden as the slips. Right. And I, uh, this was just a scrap of linen that Pam had sitting around. And um, I did change the button color to a little pink button. It looks white, but I swear it's pink. Um, to match the hearts over here, because I felt like that was weird that it was the only pink around her. Um, and then I also changed the word for live to a brighter sort of pink color because the one that was called for was very similar to the color of the fabric and it was lost in it. So change that. But I'm very happy about this. Um and this I piece is going to be dedicated to my grandparents because as I wrote in both my grandfather and my grandmother's eulogy, they were both simple people and they lived very simply and they loved their lives because of how simple it was and it was just family and love and happiness and that is really simple. So there's that. Um now on to the O word. Um and I'm sorry but this is spoken for. So if you want it I would pass the stash but it's already gonna be passed. That'll be fine. Okay. So as you might know, if you don't know, here's just me and my mom are um, doing two ornaments a month. And we have a deadline of Halloween, October 31st, to have, uh, so wait, so we started in June, so June, July, August, September, October, so five, and then that's two a piece, that's ten, I love math. Um, <laughs> uh, so that'd be ten ornaments, uh, yeah, each, right? Did we start? No, total. No, I know. What? Yeah. A total of 10 ornaments. No. No, a total of 20 ornaments. Uh-uh. Five months. Two, two a piece. Month. Oh, wait a minute. God, we're bad. Sorry. Don't try and do math with payment stiff. <laughs> so, it's not wrong. This is not your channel. Right. Not your channel if you do math. No. So, sorry about that. Anyway, I take back my previous statement about loving math. Uh, <laughs> so, now that we're clear of that, uh, anyway, July is almost over, and we have our ornaments done. So we are, what's the date today? Today's 23rd. We're eight days early. Look at us go. So there's that. Um, I don't, I don't think it's just by chance, but we have, we're getting most of our ornaments out of magazines. And um, every month, at least in June and July, when we did them, um, we have been using the same magazine each month. So um, 
last month, or last month, what, two weeks ago, our last video. No, before that. Before that. I actually started my first ornament on July 1st and finished on July 2nd. Go so. So, it was just like, go so. Um, but I already shared that. So, my second ornament was, um, both of our ornaments for this month are out of the 2013 Just Cross Stitch Special Christmas Issue of Christmas Ornament. This one. So, um, the second one that I did is by M Design, and it is called Pops Purple. Look at that. Don't those marshmallows look so good? I just want to eat them. I mean, I'm not talking about how great my kitchen is, but my kitchen is really great. So, there's that. Um, another scrap of linen. So, hey. So, um, we're just putting them in a stack of ornaments so we can finish them in time for Christmas. Now, what? Don't you have another ornament? Did I just not talk about that? Literally. Just talk about it. But anyway. My first July ornament, I finished, started on July 1st, finished on July 2nd, already talked about it. Where's your second July ornament? Not a creature was staring, I already talked about it. Oh, okay. Okay, moving on. I remember my first day. Uh, um, this is my life, people. My two July ornaments are um, yellow penguin. Yeah, good luck with this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. I almost saw it. Yeah. There we go. Well, that's, that's pretty good. Good. That's pretty good. Um, it's on 18 count lemon drop linen, and good. it's another Casey Buonagorio. What is it? Casey, your biggest fans live in Mason, Ohio. Mm -hmm. My nails not just time you speak. I'm just saying. Yeah. But so, yeah, that was super fun. Super cute. Finished it in two days, right? Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then um, she kept, you know, giving me the hairy eyeball about, come on, mom, mm -hmm. come on. So okay. I found. <coughs> okay, I found the scrap. Oh, she, she found, found the that. scrap, but this one I've been wanting to stitch for a long time. Let me fold it. Uh, see if I can fold it. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, um, it's from the 2013 ornament issue. Same, same book. <laughs> Just like I already said. Country Cottage <laughs> Needleworks. Really? A lot of you have seen this. Snowbird. I'm sorry for being so tippy. We swear we didn't drink this the video. I Come literally on. finished this um, in a couple of days and just finished it uh, today. Love this. This is an old scrap of Lugana with some modeling uh, gray and white. And um, this is just one that just spoke to me. I think these these are called snowbirds. I think they're seagulls. Thank you very much. And uh, just love this. And so, um, also, what? It called for Blanc, I think. And you went with B5200. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, there's that. so it really pops up. Yeah. So yep. so. Okay. So, okay. That's ornaments. So that's ornaments. Okay. What's the next one? Uh, the big, the big thing. The, the big, big thing. thing. Yeah. As if the last big thing wasn't big. Okay, people. All right. We got mem things. We got O's. We got S's. All right. Talk about old cross stitching. Uh, I've been stitching for about thirty years. I have right. been a single parent. Tactfully expressed for about to the one, to the uh, 17 years. I've been divorced longer than I was married, right? By a few months. And um, to say my ex was a tightwad doesn't even touch it. So um, obviously, when I was feeling my oats, my freedom, yeah, my oats, huh? <laughs> never heard that statement before. Um, I, I went out and got mind. all the. Um, Materials that I needed oh, for amazing. lavender and lace, Angel of the Sea. Um, and I don't really know when I actually started it, but it was kind of, um, it, it kind of had a lot of symbolism for me. So, um, last year I went through a lot of my old whips and actually uh, finished a lot of big projects, including lavender and lace, Angel of the Sea. And when our LNS had their molding sale, frame sale, I took it in to Barbara and um, told her to work her magic, which 
She did. Um, we were over at the shop Friday afternoon for a little bit of visiting and stitching and catching up on our week away and so forth. And Barbara said, do you want to see your angel? Well, I hadn't even I saw had it, it in mind. Let's put it that way. Right. So off she goes to the great framing basement. basement of the shop and walks into where we all sit around for our stitch-ins. And she had it. She was holding it against her, um, under her chin with the brown paper showing. And, you know, are you ready? She flipped this over. And then came the tears. Okay, so Happy tears. with apologies for this weird lighting we're getting this afternoon. Right. Uh, this is my angel of the sea. Get ready, people. And I hope I'm going to stay up so I can just say this. Well, I just want to. Don't break it, Pam. No, I'm not going to break it, but it's pretty huge. Okay. So let's see if we can get there. That's pretty good. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if we can just fold it right there. Okay. Um, it's a double mat. Um, I want to bring it closer. I know, but I getting, can hold it. We're getting wider. So down a little bit. Okay. Here there we go. go. You know, we're just amateurs people, so hang on. Right. So deal with it. And we don't want to short it. But it is a double mat and a gilt frame. I had given her a picture of one I had seen years ago that had kind of an arch at the top. Right. And I actually, the picture that I had given her showed a more severe arch. I like this one a lot better. Um, <laughs> Lynn at the shop and Barbara, um, they saw my reaction and they were just snooping around with me saying, uh oh, she's going to cry. Uh oh, she's going to cry. And, she uh, cried. and I did. <laughs> Um, I cried too, though. She we are so great. we are so fortunate yeah. that um, we have um, keepsakes as our LNS and our framer, mm -hmm. and I am I'm just blown away by this. I'm going to say over the moon. That's what I said on Facebook. I am over the moon. I do believe that it's probably going to be hung in my bedroom. Um, we've debated. I still have lots of wall space to use. Um, in this house, but I think that it may go maybe over my bed or something like that. So it doesn't really go necessarily yeah. with it's so beautiful of a piece that it would have to be a centerpiece of some, right. of some kind. Right. Right. And there's really not a wall in the living room for that kind of thing. Right. So it'll probably go in my room, but like I said, um, right now it's just sitting It has a lot of symbolism um, for me and. Um, uh, I'm I'm just I'm thrilled to death with it. So uh, it's just amazing when you have had a project that's languished, and I did obviously I didn't you know didn't take the 17 years to stitch. It was in my you know box or whatever for years, folded up that I never really um, had any stick to itiveness to to finish it. Stick to itiveness. Yeah, I like big words. And. <laughs> So anyway, it's just it's just amazing when you start a project years and years and years ago and you finally see it, you know, in some kind of finished state, you know, especially framed, um, you almost, you know, just brings back everything that you put into it. It really, really does. And I mean I looked at the fabric, I was studying the beads, I was I was just wow. I was just Geez, wow, you know. So, anyway, um, now you people, I mean, not that if you didn't understand it before, I kind of joked with my mom about this earlier, but like, this is who I learned from. So, like, I love and appreciate all the compliments that people are like, oh my gosh, you're so great. Well, if you went to Harvard, uh, the Harvard of CrossFit school, like I do, then as opposed, to, no offense, anyone's gone to community college, but. <laughs> Because the community college, that's just the comparison in my brain, is like, you know, the that's just how it is. I mean, that's the standard of stitching in this house. So it's like, it's a big pill to swallow, but that's the person that's teaching me is people that is the person that makes beautiful things like that. I mean, come on now. How can I not be a good sitter when she's like, it? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't posted a picture. Uh, we, we had a terrible time awesome. taking a picture of it. 
that didn't show reflection because the shop, like my house, has light coming at it from every direction. And um, we took it outside, we went under the tree in the back, we went out front, and the picture that I posted on my main Facebook page is really the best we could do that day. Mm -hmm. And um, nighttime is more or less the best picture taking time, but even then it sucks. So. And obviously on my main Facebook page, I have, um, I have cross-stitch friends, I have you know, regular family friends um, that I've known for years, and I have a lot of genealogy friends. And today I had a comment from one of my genealogy friends, who obviously is not a stitcher, um, and she said, I didn't even know you could do that with needlework. It was kind of a cute comment, because she was obviously coming at it from, from uh, outside of the craft, and um, so that was kind of cool. Um, but again, I'm I'm thrilled. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, everybody at Keepsake. And um, I think she would really say something about people who are the uh, They do take take it away stuff. Okay. So if you do not have an LNS, or if you have an LNS, oh, I know. I mean, you can say it now if you want. No, go ahead. Okay. Um, if you or if you have an LNS that doesn't do framing. Or if you are impressed with what you see here, she, Barb and Joe, her husband and Lynn uh, and their cat from uh, through ten uh, at Keepsakes. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Uh, sometimes I call it one two three four one two three six. I don't remember its name. Just saying. Um, anyway, uh, if you do not have a framer that you are this in love with the framing. Um, they accept out of state stuff. So right. there's lots of people that have retired yeah. to Florida, for instance, from this area that um, know the talent that Barb and Joe have, and um, they send stuff up and just say, just do your magic mm -hmm. and ship it back. So mm -hmm. that's just another PSA. PSA for keepsakes. We love them too, Joe. So uh, yeah, we're lucky that our LMS is also a framing gig as well. So right. there's that only one inclusive. Okie dokie. So, back to Stephanie's show. Um, I said this before, I know I would probably say it again in future videos, I'm going to say it right now. This community is, sorry, I'm jiggling the table. Uh, you all are so nice. Um, so, like, not just in your comments and your messages and your Instagram likes and all that stuff and whatever, but the fact that that you take the time to send me a message on Instagram or on Facebook or whatever and say, I saw a cat pattern that made me think of you. What's your address? I'm like, oh, okay. So, I mean, hi, I like cousin stuff, but uh, it's just like, I mean, I'm just floored. So, when it comes to like coping with grief, if you will, Getting back to normal for me is something that um, helps me a lot. So, like, when we came home last Sunday, I was, like, I'm back in a crazy, and I'm like, no, I, like, I like I kept telling her, take it easy, do it tomorrow. And she's like, no. She no. unpacked all the suitcases. She, yeah. she came into the house, and she said, okay, Mom, the car is like we never left. Right. And I went, whoa. Yeah, because, I want, like, I want to be able to walk into my room and plug my phone in where it's supposed to plug in, go in the shower, and... There's my shampoo where it was, and sit down in my stitchy spot and have all my stuff where it's supposed to be, because that's normal for me. And like, if it wasn't that way, then it would just remind me of why it's not normal, and then it would just be it. So anyway, I'm sure that you all understand that. But getting back to normal, I mean, I remember the last night that we were there, which was last Friday night. Um, we went out to dinner after the funeral, and I remember I looked at my mom and I went, I can't wait to get back to cats and cross <laughs> And she was like. Yeah, you, you have no idea. And it was just like we just couldn't, like, it, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. So, but coming home, we had we had a couple things on order, um, which I'll show you. But we also kind of underestimated the amount of racks that, and what would be inside of them when we came home. Random acts of kindness for anybody who doesn't know what racks do. So. My pile is ginormous, so if not, if you are not comfy yet, I recommend you pause the video, 
get yourself a new soda, go take a pee pee break, do whatever you gotta do. My rack list is long, people. Okay. So, and I'm gonna do my best to try and thank everyone and also show you everything I got, but not be too long winded because I just probably tell I like to be long winded. It takes me seven and a half minutes to get to the point of the story on average, just saying. So, first, um, I can't show these patterns, so I'll do this first. Um, Vicky, longtime friend of my mom. She loves me. I love her. We have a mutual wealth thing going on. Anyway, um, if you remember me doing the kitty string um, that I showed the last video that we did, um, I loved it. And I want, I just mentioned, like, randomly on the side that I want to do all of the strings that Lizzie Tate did because I'm also a Lizzie Tate fan. So. And Vicky sent me them all. Yeah, she did that. Um, all I have is the pattern itself, so I can't show them. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, then do it program. So, just saying. Um, so there's that. So the largest, I think, rack that I got was from uh, Lori. Uh, I'm not going to say her last name because I didn't ask her if I could. But her name is Lori, and she is from Borg. B-O-U-R-G, right? Am I saying that right? Okay. So, I'm Louisiana. Um, yeah. And basically her message consisted of, hey, I like cats. Do you like cats? I have a lot of cat patterns, some of which I've bought them twice. Can I send them to you? Uh, is the sky blue? Yeah, you can. So, um, I got a bunch of stuff. So, <clears throat> uh, I got hands off my stash. Okay. okay. So, designs for the needle, queenie, full kits. Sorry for the glare. Cute. And my mom was like, you can change your name to Mo or Muffin. I was like, oh, no. Queenies is what I think I'm going to do. But anyway, for the shot. Um, I'm a big Lizzie Kate fan, as you all know. Uh, two snippets. Love my cat. Love it. And uh, Fright Night. Like, literally, P.S., for the record, 99% of these things were on my 1 to 3 wish list. You never know. Uh, Bent Creek, which I am also a fan of. This makes me really happy because it says it was purchased with the Silver Noodle, which is like, you know, Disneyland for stickers. So, um, the White Cat. Oh, yeah. Pretty. I might change it to gray, though, just saying, because I have a gray cat, not a white cat, which you all know. Um, Ritter Cup Designs. This is Pretty Kitty Monthly Series, the July and August. The top says hide and seek, the bottom says chillin in paradise. I want all of them. I now have two of them. How cute are those watermelons? Look at that. My mom wants to have a happy hour while sometime. This might go there for the same. Uh, another Lizzie Kate. This is Cat Lovers. I literally want to do both of these, but I really want to do this one that says what bird. Because uh, my cat literally like looks just like that cat. And you can't really tell. I'm trying to get it so you can't tell. It's, it's not focusing there. very well, but the mm. cat has a feather in its mouth because it ate the bird. That's a joke. But it's really cute. Love it. And then two patterns by Design Works. Um, I already have one of them that is not one of the ones she sent me, but it's another one. It's just a little like cat and it says, This is how I roll. And it's got two shoes on it. It's really cute. Uh, anyway, so this is Design Works. Again, complete kit. The rows of these. This is called Cat and Mouse. Sorry again for the glare, but look at that. And then uh, this is called Yarn Cat. Again, the glare, my bad. And then the last thing that uh, Lori sent me was uh, a book by Cross My Heart called Kitten Caboodle. And I love this, this one right here. Uh, that's my favorite one. I think I'm going to do that one, because it looks like Muffy Eye, so I think I'm going to do that one. But, so that was everything I got from Lori, and um, from Sue Carlson, oh shoot, I do that, I didn't mean to, there's a lot of Sue's out there, so now you know, but the, she's from Middleton, uh, New Hampshire, anyway, she sent me this cute card, and she sent me, uh, she watches, uh, 
our video, so you're going to see this video and see that I gave your last name. I'm really sorry, so don't hate me. Don't answer with that because I'm not going to use that. Anyway, um, you all know that I'm doing the Stony Creek uh, pattern of the month, the scary Halloween, scary night Halloween, whatever monthly thing that they're doing. And she said, hey, I have July. Uh, can I send it to you? Again, is this my video? Yes, you can. So, there's that. That's showing up good. Cute. I love that. And I'm going to do, like, it shows on here. And I'm going to do all of them in one big piece like that. I think that looks cool. So, thank you, Sue. And, hi, Michelle. Um, hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. She's my friend first. She's just saying. Yeah, but, um, I did, uh, I had to go to Columbus on Friday. And for those of you that don't know, Columbus is like an hour and a half away. And I may or may not have mounted my phone to my so I'm over in my car and watch your entire class in the car with that way. I'm trapped in my That's not what I And don't worry, your mug is coming, I promise. Okay, um, she gave me this. Yes. This is Frost the Cooking Citry, Christmas on Ginger Bird Lane. I love this because I like the pastels. It's very cute. Look at that penguin. I love you, Michelle. <laughs> anyway. Uh, and then I also, these are all racks. I'm still racking people. Okay. So this is, uh, Suzy Q. So if you, she, uh, is stitching the Suzy Q. I believe she does the false suit. Because I think that's the false suit. Um, and she sent me a picture on Instagram and was like, I have the Stony Creek magazine. Do you like this pattern? Again, is this guy cool? It has a cap. Yes, I do. So, this is that. Sit wrong, talk not laugh often. For my life. This cat looks like nosy, so it's gonna get stitched. And this, in case you are wondering, is the winter 2015 Sony Creek Cross, Cross Stitch Collection with that on the cover. And there's a lot of other really legitimately cute things in this magazine that we we looked we looked over together at the Danish Festival. So thank you very much, Sony Q. And holy crap, I'm done getting wrecked. So wow. Yeah, so there's that. You all, I'm just like, I mean, I think I'm cool. I think my mom thinks I'm cool. My cats think I'm cool. They do. I know Michelle Garrett thinks I'm cool. I know Buck I Sitch also thinks I'm cool. I'm <laughs> cool. I haven't said hi yet. I'm kind of cool. Um, however, apparently a lot more of you also think I'm cool. So, I mean, I'm like, I'm cool. You like me. You yeah, like me, you really like, like me. So, um, yeah, to not do a video last week, I was like, oh my gosh, so much to share. But I'm incredibly humbled and um, very, very grateful that you all are so nice and think of me every time you see a cat pattern. I mean, please, I am a Z cat lady. And I want to stitch all the Z cat things. So keep them coming. Yes, ma'am. So there's that. Anyway. Just as an intermission in the Steph show, right? Hey, uh, to talk now. We'll just move on to haul, and <laughs> this, is, this is my haul. Um, it's a A A N. I don't know what's going on with our light today. I know it's like one way to blue, but yeah. I love the old Christmas uh, jingle bells, and so uh, yeah, pick this one up. Um, I think it's. Something to do in French with melodies and nativity. Don't know, but there's a cardinal, Nicole Cardinal, and Christmas bell. So I'm done. <laughs> yeah, because I'm doing this from that. Right. Fish. So therefore, so, therefore, and I'm done. Uh, so yeah. we uh okay. So because she did that one first, I will do that one first. Or first and last. Yeah, exactly. It's just you know. Um, I didn't know that was rude. So I'm off. Anyway. Um, that was, she got that, we took advantage, sorry I'm not talking to the camera, I'm putting it in my pile or whatever. Uh, we took advantage of the Christmas in July sale, uh, at 123 Stitch. Lots of great deals, um, when we are stressed we spend money, both of us do, it's genetic, it's disorder, just saying. Uh, it also helps when you stitch. So, we had... Uh, the first, we got half our order when we came home on Sunday. The second half came home Monday, so it was joyous. However, she's doing such a stash. I am not most of this is mine. So, again, I will go through. But all this came from one to three. So, 
Little House Needleworks, Kitty Cottage Sampler, and the picture that they have on 123 does not do this justice. When I saw this in real life, I'm like, oh my god, I love it. I mean, I didn't already know what I was doing. Uh, and then this is uh, Bent Creek, Santa's Coco. And if you can't tell, those are three little elves, and they are standing on top of each other giving Santa his football. And the uh, the list says nice on it, upside down. So he's looking. It's just really cute. I like it. Um, this is also Bent Creek. This is Happy Halloweenies. No, they're not wiener dogs. They're hot dogs. Oh my God! Stop! How could I not stitch that? That's hysterical. <laughs> Um, I'm also collecting the, uh, Country Cottage Needle Works Santa's Village. I'm going to do them all together. Um, oddly enough, they didn't have all of them on sale at one, two, three, whatever. I'm not supposed to just buy. Uh, so this is, uh, Gingerbread Emporium. Cute. And this is Santa's House. There he is. Oh, St. Nate. Um, then this is a Tiny Modernist Winter Sampler. Um, I'm obsessed with these colors. It's like coral and seafoam green and like the must look magenta. I look like a naughty bird. So. But look at that. I love that. I just think those colors are just beautiful. So and it's so not traditional red and green. And I'm not traditional. If you've noticed. Um, country cottage needleworks again. I have a country cottage needleworks problem. It's okay. I'm getting help. Um, this is cookies. This is Cookies for Santa. Love this. Uh, this is uh, another CCN uh, Christmas Carols. Kind of same idea, but love that too. Uh, and then this is a uh, Jardin Privé. I'm not going to pronounce this correctly, but it's uh, Vivament Noel, I think. Um, if anyone's seen the, uh, it's kind of this theme that they do with the snow globe. Thing, and then somebody sitting on top, and somebody on top of that, and on top of that. Um, they did an Alice in Wonderland kind of deal like this. Um, I'm not a huge Alice in Wonderland fan. I am, however, a big Christmas fan. So, there's that. Um, and then, uh, Valve stuff. If you know, they do cat things. I do cat things. It works. This is Tis the Season. My favorite part is the mouse on top of the cat and the smushed cat. That's my favorite part of the whole thing. Uh, then, uh, Charlie Harper, I know, I wasn't joking, I said there's a lot. Uh, Charlie Harper, this is Catbird Seat. So, I like this one a lot. However, I like this one maybe a little bit more. Um, I don't have a dog, if you haven't noticed. If I did, that'd be rude, I haven't talked about him yet, but I don't have a dog. So, um, but I just think that this is so cute over here with the cat on its head and the dog looking up. Um, so I joked and I said, Mom, you can sit this one, and I can sit this one. And she was like, not happening. So, maybe I'll just stitch this kitty. There you go. We'll see. I love Charlie Harper, though. So I had to get it. Um, one of my lifetime mantras is uh, one day at a time. Nothing to do about tomorrow. Nothing to do about yesterday. Live for today. Amy Brookin, one day at a time. I like both of these. Um, I'm going to do some different color changes, I do believe. Um, I like the top one better uh, than the bottom one. Um, but, again, color changes will happen. Uh, and then my last one from the Christmas sale is from is that Marnik yep. Designs yep. in Ontario, Canada. And this is uh, Merry Kissmas Under the Mistletoe. Yeah. Okay. Look at that! Check it. And this will be me and my boyfriend's first Christmas, so I kind of lightweight want to do this for our first Christmas and part names underneath it, but we'll see if I don't hold your breath. We'll see. Is that a, is that a that's a challenge? challenge. I'm yeah. laying down the gauntlet thing. No day. Now next week Stephanie's finished Christmas. Anyway, okay, so that's one, two, three stitches stuff. Now. Uh, these are a couple of freebies I got at the uh, shop, keepsakes. I'm a big Nosy and Me fan. We know this. I do cat, so do they. Love that. Love that. ABC, Mosey and Me, complete with the free DMC at the bottom. Um, I am not going to do the Mosey and Me that's written on the bottom, but I like the little ghost. Look at that. Look at that. He's cute. And then uh, a Catitudes book. 
a bunch of different cat little sayings. There's uh, a cat alphabet type of deal on the back. Um, and then uh, one of these says, my cat walks all over me. This whole top one right here. I love that. I think it's super cute. Sorry for the glare. Um, and then uh, why are you here and what can I do to change that? I enjoy that very much. Anyway, I like those. They're really cute. Hit those up. Feel free. Um, okay. So then, uh, just out of our curiosity, because we saw I saw this on Etsy, we a huge Roger Boss fan, we all know this, when we were looking at, my mom and I were looking at this, we were like, what kind of food is that? And obviously, it's not going to tell you, because you can buy it, see the pattern. So then we bought it on Etsy, for it's like matching, and look at that. So I'm a huge Roger Boss fan, as you all know, however, um, I don't like kind of like the traditional looking like stuff. I mean, I do, but I don't like I like the Brooks Books Wizard of Oz stuff um, and whatever. But I love this because it looks different than any other Wizard of Oz thing I've ever seen, which makes me happy. And I like that at the bottom, which you probably can't read, the quote says, Oh, what a world, what a world. And she's like, Oh, what a wild, what a wild. And I just love that part of the movie. So, I did that. Um, I am desperately searching. I only have two more things, I think. So, um, I'm looking for issue 320 of Cross Culture Magazine. If you live in the UK, I'm jealous of your life because you get them like a month later. No? We get them about a month later. So, this is actually the issue 319. Um, and when I saw it and noticed that it wasn't the one I wanted, I was sad. And then when I noticed it had something I'd been looking for everywhere, I was happy. Um, this is. The Emma comes in from Cicerovia, yes. 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 Look at that. That is so 70. Again. Like. Ooh, that's a good one. There yeah. we go. Look at that. Oh my, look at them colors. And love, and luck, and hope, and trust, and all those like words. Yeah. I was like, can we all do it? So, yeah, it's, yeah. Um. Okay, and my last pattern haul, um, when I was a kid, I was really, really, really lucky to um, be able to travel with my family, so we would all get in the Volvo station wagon, and we would drive from Cincinnati to, like, you know, San Francisco, or to Seattle, or to New Orleans. We love to drive a lot. Yes. So, like, when you're a little child, you're like, I hate my life and everything about this. However, as a 29-year-old, almost 30-year-old, I am very, very happy that I was given the opportunity to travel in America because we, my dad was kind of, this is like, we talk about dad over so, which we don't talk about dad. Um, so I was just saying, um, probably the best gift and only gift he really ever gave me besides life was, um, he was super, super, super all about the national parks. Um, and we literally would stop at every single national park between here and whatever our final destination was. We got t-shirts from everywhere we went, and we went did every activity from Oregon Trail National Park to Yosemite to Mount Rushmore to blah, 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 everything. Um, like, I literally have a picture of me and a bison from the National Park, because I'm cool with that. And I have a really great little cut, just saying. Really um, anyway, so uh, on Stash and Load or somewhere, I saw a series of National Park Needlework Selector Series from Fulmer Crafts. And I was like, I'm going to stitch them. I'm going to stitch all the things. That's so cool. And I've been there. So, um, this, the first one, we got this from Stash and Load from, uh, I don't remember her name, I don't remember her name, but whatever, don't matter. Um, this is Grand Teton National Park. If you're asking, yes, it is full coverage. No, I'm not going to start anytime soon. I'm scared. But, love that. And then the last one is from Yellowstone, and it is Old Faithful. Old Faithful. Awesome. There are what looks to be 10 of them um, in the series. Um, there's a couple of them that I'm not interested in getting just because it's like, but most of them I do want. So, anyway, so there's that. That's my pattern haul. I have bad red too. Okay, so, uh, did they have a sale or something? Uh, uh, no. Okay, we just bought it. We just bought it because that's what we do with Jack. Yeah. Chromatic Out. Plus, we just have wanted to kind of like see what they had to offer from I had bought a piece from Chromatic Alchemy as recommended by the great Becca Stitcher Nicole, and I love it. 
Um, I'm trying to think what the name of it is. It's over on the other side of the room. I'm not going to go get it. And I haven't really used it yet, but um, they're super, they're super great, and they have some awesome, awesome fabrics. So um, we kind of wanted to uh, do a little shopping on both Chromatic Alchemy and Sparklies. We would heard about them on other floss tubes, um, and so um, we got the pieces that she's going to show you from Chromatic, and we are actually awaiting our Sparklies order. And it's shipped, I think, right? I think it has shipped, and so we'll have that to show you next time. Mm -hmm. But these are from Chromatic Alchemy in the UK. Okay. So the first one, um, I got this because I saw a, uh, I didn't know that this fabric came from Chromatic Alchemy. I saw a Christmas ornament that was Grumpy Cat, and it said, ho, ho, no, which I think is funny. I don't have that pattern. But I saw this fabric, and it was like, gimme, 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 gotta find it. Then I found out a Chromatic Alchemy, gimme, gimme, gimme. I think you can kind of tell. Is that better? I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's not orangey. It's no, pink. it's it's red. It's pink. Whatever. It's fine. Yeah. It's, it's, it's called candy cane. Okay. Yeah, so it's red. So it's uh, yeah. green and red. Not squirrels. orangey at all. Right. No. So squirrel lighting. But anyway, this, which I don't have the piece of paper that tells me the size of it, but in our ornament expedition, yeah, look at all the ornaments. Love it. And it's like. Awesome. Um, and we got all of the pieces that we ordered. We got in uh, 28, 20, yeah, 28, yeah, 28 count was on. Um, and all of them. Yeah. And then, Michelle, this is for you. My mom was like, You need to take out the plastic. effects for Michelle. You need to take out the plastic. I said, No, I don't. No, I don't. Because Michelle likes the plastic, because that means something exciting is coming. Mm -hmm. I should have looked where the opening was though first. Uh, this is also 28 count Lugana, Brittany Lugana. Um, fun fact, when you order fabric and it's going to be a month until you receive it, write down what you bought the fabric for. Because I don't remember what I bought this for. I think I got it for quotes to live by. I'm not exactly sure. It could be fabulous women. No idea. When we get the order from Sparklies, that may prompt us to think mm -hmm. back what we had in mind with both companies. Right. We'll see. Maybe not. Who knows? It don't matter. We may change our mind. But this is called Elsa. I'm going to really try to get the colors on this. That's pretty good. Yeah. So there's blues and pinks and purples and this lighting sucks bad, but that's good. Yeah. But this is a big honking piece. I mean, this is like yeah, this Literally. is later in the day than we've done our Sunday recording, and so we do have a table ah! lamp on, and that may be affecting. Ah! I'm so excited. Sometimes so, we're yeah. trying to talk here. Um, okay. I think the yellow to, tones is coming from this table lamp, and then whatever. Whatever. So, whatever. Apologies anyway. all around for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. There's that. So yeah, so that's what happens when you don't do a video every week. See, is you get a you get a video from Just Keep Stitching that's over an hour long. So uh, love it. don't even know. Well, if you don't, we apologize, and no, uh, we're gonna get back to um, our once a week videos. Um, <clears throat> and um, what's your plans for this week, Pam? Gee, what are my plans? Um, since I'm done with my July ornaments, about time. we're going to rest on that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I think maybe I might go back to Remembrance Day and maybe get really close to a finish on that. Um, also in the works, uh, she mentioned Wizard of Oz. Um, we have um, designed something quite unique uh, that is uh, going to be a huge piece for Stephanie. I'm going to stitch it for Stephanie. Um, it will include, uh, if I live, <laughs> uh, all 12 of Brooks Books' Wizard of Oz figures, as well as, without giving it away, as well as the uh, Satsuma Street uh, Emerald City pattern. 
so uh, we had our wonderful Barbara at Keepsakes custom order us a piece of fabric for this um, unique layout and uh, it's come in but um, she's holding it for um, our next visit since I did pay for and pick up my angel of the sea this next week so uh, budget wise I just said you know just kind of hold on to that and we'll get it and Stephanie has pulled all the fibers for um, the beginning figures yeah, the and three because we laid um, it out like yeah. it's not like three 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 or whatever it's like don't give it away don't give it away okay sure I'm not giving it away but I'm just saying like it's literally like it's huge it's gonna be huge oh, yeah it's oh gonna God. be huge and Barbara helped us do the math because yeah. clearly we clearly can. we can't do the math but yeah, um, almost one equals dumb <laughs> right so um, that's something to that we're looking forward to and we're looking forward to getting our sparklings order so we can figure out what we're going to figure stitch. out what we we're going to do you know because um, we're sitting around here waiting for the sparklings order because we don't have anything to stitch yeah clearly clearly right. we don't have that problem um, also I mentioned to Steph that um, we might change our uh, recording location to show off another wall in this room. I bet this watermelon's getting boring to look at. <laughs> yeah, I am getting kind of tired of looking at it. Um, but we have another summerish wall that we will maybe um, show off in maybe August or September before we switch it out season wise to the to the fall stuff. So um, look forward to that. And um, other than that, what are your plans? Uh, I'm gonna stitch. Just, just keep stitching. No, uh, I should probably like. I mean, I say maybe I should put the brakes on my start. I just but life is short. Stitch the things. Stitch the things. Stitch the things. Stitch, the thing. stitch yeah. all the things. Yeah. So who am um, I to discourage? I mean, exactly. No, no. Right. And what she always says is, "There's no cross stitch police. There's no cross stitch police people. Stitch all the things. Right. Start all the things. You don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. Okay." It's all the things. Yeah. So, again, um, thanks for um, watching us. Mm -hmm. um, we, we made it an hour and seven minutes and seven I know. seconds. God love you. Um, we, amazingly enough, uh, as of this morning, passed 1,000, that's three zeros, 1,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. uh, just amazing. Great. So we might have to dream up another great video, uh, great giveaway. Great video. No, always do great videos. No, what another giveaway. great giveaway. Um, we haven't given up on our cookbook idea, um, and uh, Stephanie's got a few ideas about how we're going to accomplish that. Um, and uh, if you don't know what we're talking about, you're going to have to go back and look at some other videos Ooh. that we made. Um, Price to pay. So anyway. Thanks again. Um, I think we will be back with more fun and stitching news Yay. in a week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Stitching. Bye. Bye.